Yo! We're down here with the MBC Foundation in collaboration with Don't Flop. People, if you're here to enjoy yourself, make some noise for me. Yeah. Alright, that's what I like to hear. Okay, my name's Tony D. You Woo. might not, you might not. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, they flipped off camera. The two artists are Bamalam Lama and Sistic on my right. Make some noise for them, please. And on my left hand side, tongue twister and midi intellect. Yeah. Alright, as I said, they flipped off camera. Midi and tongue twister won the toss. They chose Babylon Assisted to go first. Babylon Assisted, it's on you. Alright, yo, yo, what's happening, midi twist? You silly gits are about to get finished quick for everything you spit because you'll never be as ill as this. Yo. Midi, you ain't an actual lyricist, just a rapping conspiracist. You sit, up, sit at home billing spliffs trying to figure out the math of pyramids. <laughs> Yo, you click on YouTube when blazing spliffs and favourite vids about all kinds of crazy shit like how aliens may exist. <laughs> and now you're insane a bit. So face it, bitch. An ancient script said your life would end in 2012 and I'm pretty Preach. safe to say it is. Yeah. Because it's like when you rap... The time doesn't pass. Plus, you think we're dope, so you're trying to smoke us to get a high buzz off of ours. But you're the microphone molester, right? That cross-dresser with the mic up his ass? That means you don't write gutter bars, and plus, you're from Hersham, where it's, well, quite upper class. <laughs> Yo, your Mickey and Pedro battle was lame. They didn't prepare, and you practiced for days. And then you got hyped, started challenging names. If you want to battle Tenchu, he'll be here tonight, and that can be arranged. Even in a handicap match, you two would still lose, get beat in embarrassing shame because you fags are a disgrace, and you'll get beat by an actual great. <laughs> Yo, in reality, we should have linked up with these Joker chaps and made a stoner track. But these blokes are whack, so you're getting rolled up and smoked even though we're the doper acts. And to your shit puns, I don't react. If you would come with the way you wrote your tracks, I wouldn't feel to throw punches until I broke your back and twist gets broke until these bones are snapped. Fuck it. Well, I was taking out the top eight in nine rounds. You were both losing your tryouts. So keep thinking your flow's solid. I'll have to defeat you when I heat you like T2. Here's a preview. I beat C Major, who beat Enigma, who beat you. Time. Fuck C Major. <laughs> Yo, just with being your bridge, you know, I should be kicking your mates. Yeah, I do chat about aliens, but with that fucked up head and that little face, it proves we must be living among some form of reptilian race. <laughs> Why do you act hard? Fuck that, I will not have it. You say I'm upper class, well how come you're from Brixton and you're the one who sounds like a posh faggot? <laughs> Yo, and these two bitches will never be the battle champs. Battling me and twist shit, I thought you would have had a plan. But because you don't, I've got two questions for you, bam a lamb. <laughs> why have you got this weak American rap and twang and why are you teamed up with a genie from the magic lamp? Because <laughs> if you were from that magic lamp set in that Arab land, you'd hope for rubs. Because being a batty man, he'd love getting touched by Aladdin's hand. To him, that's a stroke of luck. <laughs> Wait. When did Saddam Hussein get in the battling game? <laughs> you see, your eyes are so droopy, it looks like your skin has lost all control and falling off of your skull. Your eye sockets are so big, if your eyes were to suddenly roll, they'd probably swallow you whole. And if you... Wait, wait, oh my god! May, may help him! Shit, for a minute I thought your face was melting! You see, your face looks like you've had some smack or had some Charlie. You look like a pilot that died face first in a kamikaze. Your face? That is nasty! It looks like it was drawn by Salvador Dali after an acid party. <laughs> Fuck your face! <laughs> and Bam raps like, hey, you two fags are waste. Yeah. But has no one ever told you that? Your accent's fake. Dude, yeah. you need to warn your strange fatty mate that the massive plates of food to them huge slabs of steak will soon attack his veins. And you, cystic? <laughs> Even if you change that name, your voice would stay as gay. And if you had Bamalam's glasses, it's plain as day. You'd have the same exact face as Zayn Azray. <laughs> Fuck your face! <laughs> Yo, you're both weak, homies. I'm glad you're not a coke fiend. Cause you could fill that whole lighter with blood that cut caused you a nosebleed. Woo! Yeah. And yo, yeah. your bars ain't even making sense. That shirt's fitting cause you got a face defect. Plus, we all smoke weed. 
Last week I blazed an OG. So that's why the reason that you could be the god of mischief and still never become low key is now known, G. <laughs> Yo, and I got the smarts to rip you. These bars dismiss you. Twist you aren't the issue, because Midi's name suggests that his intellect is artificial. Ooh. Plus, being a cannabis activist actually is another stat on list to the system they already have trapped you with. So I hope you do do a low key. Admit your raps are shit, then fall back and quit and start trying to act legit. Because I read your bio and it was fucking boring as death. It's like, how depressing can one man's story get? You're in debt. <laughs> and the bailiffs are coming because you didn't pay your mortgage yet. <laughs> With that hairline, you'll look like a dirty Mr. 13 when they deform your head. <laughs> Yeah. And if you watch his quick vids, you can see this bitch Chris with a limp wrist rapping verses on the toilet because he is shit. But when I watched it, I did wish that his music like Kid Twist didn't exist. Cause yo, you said we was proper sick. But let's be honest, Twist, if you're not rapping about cocks and dicks, it's probably some other form of rotten shit. So that's why if we say your music is gay, that's exactly what it is. Plus, Midi, why'd you collab with this guy? It's like he ain't really right, because he makes tunes about having threesomes with hermaphrodites, and you two are going to be involved in one when you go back tonight. Now that is time. <laughs> Yo. You two can't hack your liquor, that's why you drink from little bottles. You said, you said some shit about Lidos, where's that's... Uh, Ironic because you're wearing your swimming goggles. <laughs> <laughs> and looking at you, Buddha statue. <laughs> See, I would attack you, grab a blade to slash you, but the sharpest blade on the planet couldn't stab through your fat suit. That's Ooh. true. <laughs> and when I'm battling bam, I'ma turn into a battering ram, a battering bad like bam, 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 bam. <laughs> and you are pale as fuck. <laughs> That's why he wants to be a real African man. So you can find him with his back on the sand, catching the time till he's as black as he can. <laughs> well, that is the plan, but now Bamalam's mad and he hates his white side so much that he has to have a wank with the back of his hands. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. Your age. Don't make me smack your face. You're not black, you're beige. <laughs> and you two useless pricks will never have exclusive hits in the music biz. Not when you rap like you're reading from a movie script and you look like you have a history of abusing kids. <laughs> See, I could shoot you quick, but I don't need to use a stick. I'll just do some kicks to bruise his ribs. You ain't from the streets, Lewis Smith. The only time you see the ends is when this stupid bitch chooses to twos a spliff. Oh. And Joe Watts, hold up, you ain't getting no props. Not when this bloke's got Michael Jackson's skin tone and his nose job. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, <laughs> oh God. You're up his ass so much, you may have well have fisted his bum crack. <laughs> and you want Bamalam's ball so much, but he's not pissed that he does that. So someone, get a dog dog quick before he admits that he loves that. Because it's certainly true, it'll be hurting this dude when they surgically remove that cyst from his nutsack. <laughs> Fuck your face! <laughs> yeah, let's talk noses. Twist, your mum is Greek. That explains why your frontal peak is longer than a London street. <laughs> When Millie raps, when Millie raps, he's an asshole. But when Twist spits, he gets stuck in deep, starts doubling speed and becoming the beast, but it's all done with his tongue in some cheeks. Oh. Yo, to kill you today, I didn't need to bring me a weapon. Mind waves cut you off of the brain and kill you in seconds. Cause you're drowning in fear when I step into the session. I'll spit you a lesson. I don't need to be a sound engineer to remove Midi's connection. Yeah. Oh. Tongue, I'll twist your neck. Midi, you're as thin as death cause you live in debt and you haven't had dinner yet. And I make better <laughs> And I make better beats, so who's really got the MIDI intellect? Yeah, and to don't flop, it's like the 70s, cause they haven't heard of MIDI yet. So fuck it. I'll treat these fucking youths like dusty shoes in the time it takes to bun a zoo. Cause when I'm done wearing through your soles, I have the tongue removed. Yeah, once I've done it, I'll have the tongue removed, so fuck you two. It's like I don't need to even rap anymore because I hit you straight with a slap to the jaw. Sis, it come in and back me for more. Oh. I don't want to hear this fucking dumb whore rap. Fuck my face, bro. fuck yours back. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, he's like, I'll smack at your jaw, rapping it raw, bends over. Come on, sister, come back for some more. <laughs> Yo, in the other round, you said I was like low key, but Bamalam, I'm not, man. But I'd rather be that than a cross between MC Hammer and Gok Wan. <laughs> you see, I didn't know what a Bamalam was, and I found this a little bit intriguing. 
So I did some research, went on the internet and did some reading. And it turns out, to Bamalam is the act of being tricked or cheated. And I saw your battle with impact. Shit, now I get the meaning. <laughs> <laughs> and why when you two rap together, do you both decide to rap, rap together? together. <laughs> Cause you two are like small time coke dealers who like scamming guys you buy. Cause you claim you got bars but only say it line by line. Get me? Cause you two are like, it's like, it's like you're in the studio making a trap mix. mix. Who's, who's ventriloquist? I'll leave you both with a snap wrist. <laughs> who's, who's hype man? Or is this shit just sporadic? Hey. All I know is, you might have won hunger for more, but in your battle with C Major, you spat shit. And to be fair, C Major had it. Why? Cause one of them choked. Bam did. Ooh. And I know you only fucked up cause that's not how you planned it. It's consistent when on stage with you, helping you with your ad libs. Ooh, faggot. <laughs> I will shoot your mother in front of you and stand with no fear. Why? Cause I'm a burn man, oh yeah! Nah, I wouldn't, but if I did, no one would give a shit Understand they don't care, not one person would be sad There's no tears, they'd probably clap and all cheer If I shot Bambi's old deer <laughs> <laughs> Divine rights? Fuck divine rights! You got no right calling yourself divine You kidding when you lack the divine mind like mine to write a song You rhyme hype, it's not right fooling yourself with rhymes like religion that aren't facts They're lies so that defines divine rights are wrong Woo. Yo, you see me? I smoke bare weed But cystic can't even handle a quarter Shit, a gram of some draw would happen for sure Panicking, gagging like grab me some water You see these rappers are poor Gonna get a smack in the jaw Attacking the core like this was actual torture See I'll say what I can But I ain't shaking his hand You might think that's out of order But he's a fake and a fan So watch me break down his man I'll take out a bam and leave a lamb for the slaughter Ooh. Fuck your yeah. face! Yeah. Yo people make some noise! Okay, went to the judges, came back, 3-0, unanimous decision, Bamalam. Yeah. <laughs> David Masters, aka Scrooge Fast, aka The Mast. I gave that to Bamalam and Sistic, reasons being, I think Midi Intellect and Tongue Twister were a much more cohesive team. They had much more fluidity to their rounds. They had a really, they had a few really sick lines in that first round, which I did think they took. Um, the um, Salvador Dali acid trip shit, things like that, really got at their opponents. I think they kind of relied on that for for two rounds too many, and that's where Bam and Amicistic picked it up. The, the shortcomings in their delivery, which I felt was a bit bland at times, they stepped up via their bars and their directness, and Bam and Bamalam in particular really hit home in that last couple of rounds, so that's why I gave it to Bamalam Assistic in two rounds to one, second and third round. Hey. Right, it's Old English. Um, I just watched a really good battle between Bamalam Assistic and uh, Midi Intellect and Mr. Tongue Twister. I think um, the first round, I think Bamalam and Assistic took it more there. I thought they seemed a bit more original and creative. I thought that um, Midi and Tongue Twister didn't come as good as they could have. I think the second round, they stepped up a lot, they were funny but they were lyrical as well, I think they were relevant, I think, I mean although Bam and Lam and Sistic both were good, I don't think that they had um, what it takes to beat them on the second one and then I think on the third one they stepped up Bam and Lam and Sistic and I think they took that one clearly, I think um, the other two just didn't come as good as they could, it's, it's still a good battle and um, my decisions 2-1 to Bam and Lam and Sistic. Yo it's your boy and me, we out here, I don't even know where we are, somewhere in near South London, Nice vibe out by the outdoor swimming pool. I have to take a dip later. But uh, as for this battle, I give it to Bam and Amicist. Breakdown why is I, I thought they took the first round. I thought the shit about the aliens and pyramids that was funny as fuck. I think uh, I think the other two cats. I'm up to speak up. I think the other two cats took the second round. They, they bought that heat, but in the third round they fell off. So that, th that third round went to Bam Assist again. So two one Bam Assist. But who knows? I might change my mind on, on viewing it back. That's that's the beauty of battle rap. Peace.